good morning. I'm here in my yard under the dogwood tree, just thinking about some shit. And um, this is not new or anything, but I've noticed so much bullying this week on Twitter, online. Not to me specifically. There was like one comment said to me that's just like, you know, it's a good thing. It's a good thing I don't have an eating disorder or anything because this person clearly does and clearly thought making fun of my weight was the way to go because that is where they are sensitive. I'm not sensitive about my weight, so it was more like, wow, it's such a shame that you're such a shitty person. Their, t their timeline on uh, on Twitter was awful anyway. I mean, literally the first things you saw were something triggering to people who may have these issues. So there's that. Uh, this is in regards to um, Ready to Glare. People doxing her because she wanted to talk about something that she went through, actually. Um... I don't know how she was going to discuss it, but the fact that she mentioned, I'd like to talk about eating disorders, and then she got bullied and doxxed. Real nice. The fact that Jenna Marbles felt so hurt, guilty, frustrated, whatever she was feeling, this poor woman. I mean, I'm older than her. I could have babysat her. So I see her doing this, and I'm just like, no. Then again, people who are younger than her will watch her and say, no, because Jenna, you are definitely not the problematic one, but obviously if your mental health needs a break because you're feeling the way you're feeling, nobody's blaming you. We're just, people are so disappointed at how other people react to things. That sounds so, so vague and stupid and redundant, but it's just, I'm not trying to dox anybody. I'm not trying to do that shit. I'm literally trying to just educate the things that I know about and learn about the things that I don't know about. And I'm trying to be a cheerleader to people and I'm trying to support people because damn it, sometimes, you know, being your own cheerleader gets exhausting. And sometimes the reason you are your own cheerleader is because you were exhausting. And sometimes it's because people are shitty and sometimes it's a combination of them. And sometimes you just need someone to hear you, and you just need someone to cheer you on. And I'm like, if you seem like a good person, that's what I want to do for you. <sighs> I've done that to everybody I followed as long as I felt like they were okay. And then when it was too much, and it was too much toxicity, and it was just too much to excuse, then I just removed myself from the situation. I remember when drama getting happened last year. I put um, I put like a little meme out of James Charles' supposed type, and it was a joke about what was going on, and it was a terrible joke. Uh, at the very moment, I thought it was funny because it was like, "Oh my God, do you see what happened?" When it started getting a little more serious, I was like, "I'm going to take this away because." I think I had gotten retweeted a couple of times and it was starting to pick up traction and I realized no I don't I'm not I don't want to do that I took it off um I'm not trying to bully anybody it was like oh here's a joke ha 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 but then it was like being spread um I think that was one of those times when I realized I can't just put this shit on the internet I can't just make a joke like that that's that's a person that will possibly see that if that go does gain traction and they'll be hurt by it. Now that's obvious to most people on the internet. It's just, I don't have a lot of pull or reach or anything. So when I got on Twitter, I was just like, do, 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 do. And then I saw that and it was like, okay, bye. I've also, within this last week, seen the bullying off of social media of somebody I know. Well, Somebody I was getting to know, I should say. And um, I did not agree with everybody that she followed and supported. But she seemed like a very nice person. 
apparently because of the people that she was supporting, she got bullied and harassed. Not just, well, here's the reason why you probably shouldn't support this person. She got, no, you suck, and here's pictures of your kids and death threats, and this is what we're going to? Really? It's so sad because, you know, you think, oh, it's the kids on the internet. No, it's not the kids on the internet. I'm 41 years old, and a lot of these people have grown up around the same times I did. They know what the internet is. They're just shitty people. And this was like, oh, I believe that people are good. I would love to believe that. But the long I've li longer I've lived and the more I've seen, the more I realize there are just some people who are just shitty. You don't want to hear that. You don't want to think that. But it's true. I'm sorry, some people are just shitty. Some people can be reformed to not be shitty, but they just haven't had that yet. And then there are some who, I'm sorry, some people are just wired shitty. I've dealt with enough people. Like I said, you wanna be naively hopeful. There are people online who just have dealt with even shittier people, I'm sure, than I have, and they're just still like, no, people are still good, and it's like, do you really believe that or do you want to believe that? Because I want to tell you, I don't think that's true. There's just some shitty ass people out there. So anyway, um, I knew I was going to end up ranting a little bit. I'm just really pissed off about what I've been seeing. Um, and this isn't the first or the last time I'll be pissed off about this specific thing. Sanitation. Sometimes when I'm out here, when certain people are, I try to shout thank you, and they just look at me like I'm insane. <laughs> They're just like, can I just work, please? <laughs> I'm like, cheerleader! Anyway, I'm such a dork. <sighs> That's what I wanted to say. I just, obviously the people who are, who are the shitty people I'm talking about are not going to watch this and think, you know what? I want to be a better person. They're probably going to bully me. And attack me and say that I'm ugly, fat, whatever the heck you want to say to me. <sighs> like I haven't heard anything my entire life. Like I haven't thought things about myself. So, whatever. Shitty people are going to be shitty people. And I'm just going to say, um, Mom, I'm sorry if you watch this and you hear me cursing a lot. I'm just pissed off. Um... The thing that has always upset me more than being attacked personally is the fact that someone could do that even when they don't know you. It's always bothered me. It's always been like, you don't know. You don't know this person. You don't know what they're going through on a day-to-day -day basis. You don't know any of that. And you still want to say things like that. Like, even on the phone when I used to work customer service or anything like that, when I would say something this person didn't agree with and they would immediately jump to personal attacks. It wasn't the personal attacks that upset me. It was the fact that this person went there. Like, really? Like, you know what that feels like when somebody does that to you and you do it to other And they say hurt people hurt people, sure. But some people are just mean. They're just cruel. And they just want to hurt you to feel better. Not because they're hurt, but because they want to bump themselves up. I'm just saying, these phrases where people are just like, hurt people, hurt people, and things like this, and blah, blah, blah. There are exceptions to every rule. And sometimes the hurt people, hurt people is the exception. And the rule is that um, there are just some shitty people out there. This is the ranting that I said I didn't want to do yesterday, but I felt like I had to say something about this, too. Just because I saw it happening again, too, ready to glare, and it was like, what the fuck? The person I'm talking about who got off the social media, this person wasn't a YouTuber. They weren't anyone big, but it was like, they were important to me. I was getting to know them, and... I don't know what else to say. I'm not going to change anyone's mind who's a shitty person, but 
I just wanted to rant about it a little bit because I'm so frustrated. And like Smoky Glow, I saw what you said. I was thinking it too. It's just like, you know, there's going to be some really stupid apologies right now because they're just like, because of Jenna Marbles. Like, don't mention her in your apology. You should have done this anyway. The fact that Jenna Marbles wants to leave YouTube, it's not to, to help you to get to your apology. Well, maybe it is. Maybe in the back of her head she's hoping that that's what will happen. But you should have done that before she felt like she had to. That's the point. Anyway. Before she felt so attacked and bullied and cornered. Anyway. Whatever. I'm not in her head. I'm not in anyone's head. I, I can't speak for anyone else. If I've misspoken and you're like, no, I wasn't thinking that at all, feel free to, to write that in the comments. Um, this is the video I want to say, hey, like and or subscribe. Oh, I mean, please do if you want to see the better contents. This, you know how it's been lately. It's been really shitty. Nobody wants to be happy and peppy all the time right now. But I'll try. I'll try the next video. Maybe I'll do makeup or whatever I'm in the mood. Maybe I'll sit in table town and give you all a chat. Nobody wants to chat. Maybe I'll do makeup. All right, well, I'm going to go now before I get eaten up.